start with uh, action script 3.0. The first one we need is we need to import two images to the library. So the first image that we need will be the iMac G3. And then that it goes into the library. One more. Import to library. And we'll bring in the G4 this time. So we have both iMac G3 and G4 in the library. So first we drag the G3 out. The image is quite big. So we need to scale it down to a reasonable size. Make it a little bit smaller. Make sure it doesn't change the shape. And then we can move it to a corner. So this will be our first image. And there's actually some white background that we need to remove. So to show that, I'll set the stage color to a light gray. Here is the white background that we need to remove. The way we can do it is we go into modify and change the, uh, oh, forgot to select. So select the image first and then go to modify and break it apart. And then you'll turn it into many small dots. Next step is we need to select just the right area. So we need to find the lasso tool. And then the lasso tool, we look for the magic wand. And the first thing is make sure nothing is selected. And then just highlight one of the white area, the white background. Voila, here we have the background selected. Go into edit, clear, and gone is the background. So next we'll jump to frame 50. Insert keyframe. Okay. And of course, we can also do that by using the right mouse and then you insert keyframe. Same thing. And next is we need to bring in a second image. So we make sure we are at the end of the timeline. Go to our library, look for the G4, bring it out, and again, we size it to a small size using the free transform and okay use the selection tool move it in place similar as before with the white background so we need to remove the white background the first thing we do is go into modify break it apart so that you turn into dots and then try to unselect it by clicking outside. Again, one more time, lasso two. And then look for the magic wand, make sure it's selected. Select the dust, the right area. Go into edit, clear. And as you can see, there's a little bit of an edge, so we'll try to clean it up a little bit by zooming in. And then look for the eraser and cut out those extra white lines. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it would be nice to get with the obvious uh, white areas. Same for here. Okay. And then we'll go back to frame one. A little bit more to get rid of. Again, using the eraser. Now we have two images. Let's take a look again. First image, just the G3. Second image, we have two machines, so we need to get rid of one. So let's selection two one more time. Highlight the G3 and then go into edit, clear it out. So right now, at the beginning of the timeline, we have 
the IMAP G3. At the end of the timeline, I have the IMAP G4. So now I just need to do my last step. I can right mouse click, choose create shape chain. Or I can insert shape chain in here. Same thing. Okay. Insert shape chain, and then I have a nice and smooth transition animation from G3 to G4.